Welcome to the Chop Team. I'm your host, Seth the Dark Child. So I'm your host, Twins Inc. Our show is about two guys and any friends that happen to come over with a topic that we want to chop up. This is our barbershop style podcast. We discuss it all. If the fellas at the shop will go in on it, we will. Let's chop it up. We back, we back, we back. Yo, yo, yo. How's it going, Seth the Dark Child? It is man. This is an out. This is an outstanding summer day. It's outstanding. And while the weather's good, and my health is good, and life is good, and money is good, it's hard to argue, man. I can't see nothing. I'm gonna have to make something up to be mad about. <laughs> but uh, it ain't that hard, yo. The intro for today's show. Listen. Listen, I know this happened a few days ago, but, uh, you know, we just always be wanting to put our two cents in on everything because, well, it's our damn show. It's what we want to do. Anyway, today's show is called The Marriage Trap, and we'll be taking a specific look at um, Miss Larsa Pimpin Jordan. Mm. Um, Say that again. <laughs> Miss, Say that again. Miss The Marriage Trap featuring Miss Larsa Pimpin Jordan. Pimpin' Jordan, that ain't that the irony? And we, hey, listen, we using that as a joke, but it just, it's just a lot going on with it. So anyway, in the news recently this week, this being the week of June twenty, uh, I mean, what is today? Today's the twenty fifth, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Sunday. today being June twenty fifth, in the news in the last week, um, a Los Angeles County court awarded Larsa Pippen pretty much half of all of the marital assets of her, her ex-husband, Scotty Pippen, mm. which included bank accounts, checking mm. accounts, property, and, and now this is the almost worst kick in the teeth, his pension, his 401k from the NBA. She made bank. Ching, being, ching. Being, being, being remembered that they were married from 1997 until 2016. And when they got divorced, there was no cheating. There was no infidelity. Oh, uh-huh. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was I, it I was simply like put okay. irreconcilable differences. Okay. I don't want to be with you no more. Understandable. And on my way out the door, yo, fool, run me my loop. That's what she did, right? Okay. And um so that's that's the marriage trap for me is she cashed out and gets cash and prizes on the way out the door. Mm. That that part. That part right there. Half of everything she once again, I've said this before, and I'll keep saying it. She hasn't dribbled a basketball. She ain't did one practice. She ain't took any of the injuries. Listen, I never saw her. I, I did not see her locking down Maza Johnson. I didn't mm-hmm. see her carrying Michael Jordan through the championship games. The I, I didn't see her. I seen Pippen, Scotty. I seen well, Scotty out there a lot. Well, and let, I got to add on something because, you know, for every bright side of the sports fame and 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 – you know, the glamour, the glitz that comes with being a sports star. Mm-hmm. You know what the bad part is? What's, what's the bad part? Um, if you've ever played a sport, seriously played a sport, you know what I'm going to say next. What's that? She don't have to take the painkillers to get out of bed. She ain't had to go through the physical rehab to get over an injury. Mm. She ain't had to play through pain and suffering. It's it's hard to be a professional athlete. Listen, it's hard to play a sport, you know. Yeah, because the next day, I mean, listen, try going outside and cutting the grass, trimming the bushes. I mean, like, really, mm-hmm. don't, I mean, do everything. Don't just cut the grass and leave. I'm talking about cut the grass, do the edges, do the trimming all around, rake it all up, back it all up. That's a full workout. The next day, you're going to be like, man, what did I got to do yesterday? Oh, I did the full yard, and exactly. I did it very well. So imagine that as a basketball player running down the court for, what, two hours? Cause no commercial well, breaks or hour and a half, whatever. Yeah, but that they ain't got nothing to do with. Listen, my brother played college ball, mm-hmm. and this he didn't go professional or nothing like that. But college ball, I mean, he played he played football from the park balls all the way through high school and a very little bit of college. Okay, and at forty eight, forty nine, when we were having a conversation about it. This dude, this dude, sometimes he still has to take an ibuprofen or a Tylenol every morning. 
because it hurt. Stuff hurts. Oh, Them listen, joints hurt. Facts. I have a friend, um, real, real, real close friend, his name is Kearney, and we played football in high mm-hmm. school together. We didn't go, we didn't play college, bro, but mm-hmm. we played high school. And we have injuries that linger from back 2001 era. Mm-hmm. And they're not going to get better. No. It hurts. It hurts. When you see Shaq walking around looking like he barely functional some days, because it hurt to play professional ball. Larsa Pippen ain't got none of those aches, pains, and injuries. The only thing she got is liposuction and BBL uh, certain injuries. So anyway, (laughs) so back to the marriage trap on this one. Okay, I'm sorry. I I mean, because we're not going to – I'm trying to be nice about it, but I've been divorced. I – I am thankful. I'm only going to talk about myself in the abstract for a few moments. Okay. I've been divorced. When I got divorced, I got married to somebody, and I thought that we were going to do X, Y, Z. I, I was foolish. I thought that if you get married, you stay married. That be that was the end of the situation. Till death do us apart. I, and, I, I remember that saying. Yeah, no, no, no. It's most likely to death do, to death or I get tired of you. Um, we part, but when, when I got divorced, my ex-wife, she did not take half of my 401k. She didn't take half of my bank accounts. All she took was child support. Okay. And I thank her for that. I appreciate that. You, you know why? Because I realized she could have put a 12 gauge to my head and pulled the trigger. Mm. Right. She could have had me homeless. She could have had me selling my house. She could have had me cashing out my 401ks and and my bank accounts and i could have just wrote her a check simply because we used to sleep together she let me she let me walk i had the easiest divorce of anybody i ever met bro she we would we would divorce 90 days after filing oh must be nice it and to on the on the 22nd of june that was my six-year divorce anniversary and i woke up smiling on that day she could have crushed me she didn't and life is life is much much better now than it was then i miss my, i miss with my kids and all that but the fact that another human being could have no matter how much work i put in no matter what i did to put a roof over our head she could have literally made me homeless had she made a few different decisions and not care and also not care about it at the same time and, and not even care about it and I got divorced, same reason Scottie Pippen did. What's that reason again? It, irreconcilable differences. Okay. All right? Okay. So, basically, marriage has marriage used to be in men's favor. Not going to lie. We're not going to act like that didn't happen. But over the last 50 years, it didn't even out. So, I understand the battle was for equality. Nah, the tables, these tables ain't just turned. These tables have flipped all the way over. <laughs> it's so it's so bad that when you, I heard an old man say this, and I want to repeat it the way he said it. Uh oh, what did he say? He said basically, marriage is you looking across the table at a person, you know, woman in this case, right, and you betting her half of everything you own that you can keep her, and she betting half of everything you own that you can't. Damn, that's right. That sounds, that sounds about accurate right there. She, she can't lose. <laughs> that's, that's it, right? Don't shoot the messenger. These are just the facts. An old dude told me that, and I was like, it, you know how you just take a moment and, 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 and reflect? You bet in half of everything you own, you can keep her, and she bet half of everything you own that you can't. Mm. And at this point, women file upwards of 80 percent 80 percent of all divorces filed in america women file 80 percent of the time men are losing that bet and like scotty pippen he just uh, like hold on jeff bezos he walked away from mckenzie bezos he gave her 39 billion dollars because she didn't she didn't want to be with him no more but i'm gonna say with her though she was shooting the gym with him Oh, she wasn't. Yeah, she was part of the. No, the, she she she, was, she, she was part of the basement or the uh, home office setup and everything. No, no, she was part of the home office setup. Yeah, for the first year, year and a half, and after that, she walked away from the business. 
Jeff, is, is that a fact? Yes, you can look that up. This is a Googleable thing. Oh man! So yeah, no, she, I, you know what? I didn't, I didn't search it. I she, didn't Google it. So he, he, ladies and gentlemen, she what? didn't, she didn't put in thirty nine billion dollars worth of work. She didn't. No. Nope. She, she, she helped him start it up, and then gave him the keys, and he and, ran and with he it. And he did what he had to and do. And he did the partnership, and he made it happen. Like, like most men, we, we make it happen. It just, we don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna put it we together. Gonna figure it out. And we just figured it. So he figured it out, and after figuring it out, he made it figure out very well mm-hmm. because. Man, and one of the richest men in the world. McKin, um, we're going to go with Melinda Gates. She she got divorced from Bill Gates. I'm not sure how much she got. I thought it was in the 80 million, I mean, 80 billion category, but it doesn't matter. Melinda Gates got paid, capital paid. She didn't develop anything about Windows or Microsoft or nothing like that. Now, that, now that's a true statement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she, she definitely wasn't that. shooting the gym with him. But, so, well, well, I'm saying that she wasn't in a computer lab with him. Matter of fact, she wasn't with him. She, they wasn't married when he started Microsoft. So that's a mm. that's a fact right there. Um, who else did? Who else, who else just got gaffled? You know, and just really bad in a divorce. Oh, let, um, Paul McCartney. He got married to he got married to that girl. Two years, I think they were married for two years. He ended up giving her in the neighborhood of four hundred million dollars. Paul McCartney, two years, he, he had didn't a baby. Have a prenup? Had a baby. You have a uh, baby. Well, never mind. Janet Jackson, she wasn't she married to that Saudi billionaire for five years and two months, and ended up cashing out five hundred million dollars. Yeah, because I think her, in her prenup, she had to be divorced by a certain time frame. No, no, she had to be stay married. Hey, Mary, for by five time. years. Five years. The divorce was finalized after five years, two months. Oh, five years and two months. So that she, was, so if she'd have made it six years, she would have got nothing. No, no, no. She, if she did, if she did divorce before five years. Oh, uh, before five. So years. she, did, if she did divorce at four years oh, so and nine months, the, the paperwork, everything was already in process. So when it did end, it five was already, years, it was already in motion. Her, her. Her her gotcha. her went her her crossing the finish line was five years. Got she it. crossed that finish line in five years, two months. You can't art, bruh. You was there for one thing and one thing only, right? That's the marriage trap. It it didn't used to be like this. It used to be for better or for worse. Facts. It used to be when you got married to a woman, both of y'all knew it was going to be tough. But you know what? I need you. You need me now. What up, Don? <laughs> now, when you get married, if you don't get actually Corey Holcomb, I heard Curry, Curry Holcomb say this. Basically, he was like, if you get married right now, you stupid. You just stupid. If you rich and wealthy, if you already successful, if you already built yourself up into anything. Why would you get married? That's if, true. That's true. Anything. If you. If you already make a hundred thousand dollars a year, why would you get married? Make it make sense. If you for real, if you already got a name, if you already successful, if you already got anything, literally A N Y T H I N G, anything going for you at all. Let me play his devil advocate. Well, Seth the Dark Child, man, what happened if you you know I might want to build a legacy. I want to have kids to carry on my legacy. Shouldn't I get married then? What legacy? My legacy what, what, of my business that I have. So whoa, 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 whoa! How are you gonna How are you gonna have a legacy mm-hmm. that somebody could take because they are tired of being with you? Oh, listen, listen. Never mind. I didn't. I didn't think about if that. If I, because also think about this. I'm listening. When we speak about the previous people, he was went over. So, Bill Gates' wife, Jeff Benzo. Uh, who else? And, and, well, and Ru- we can talk about Russell Simmons. We, oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> did you see I, that? Yeah. Did, you, did anybody catch that? I caught that one. So hold on, forget that one. But I'm saying those two people right now: Bill Gates' wife and Jeff Benzel's wife. Mm-hmm. Neither one of the wives are still running the company. So what Seth the Dark Child just said is that if I create a whole legacy and I plan to lead to my kids, but then the woman that I'm with decides she wants to divorce me and take half, whatever case may be, she's taking her money and she go on vacation while I'm still trying to either keep my business or start a new business. 
Now, without being said, Jeff Benzo is still part of us. I mean, no. Amazon. <laughs> he's still he's still part of Amazon. He's still and, uh, and he make you know yeah, he, he made the money, but that's not the point. The point is, but the, she's not. But you don't hear, you don't see nothing of her doing what Amazon. Well, well look what she did. She took thirty nine billion dollars. She left him. She married a school teacher. I know, but the point I'm trying to make is that. What is she doing that's still benefiting Amazon? Nothing. My point exactly. What is Bill Gates' wife doing that's still benefiting Microsoft? Nothing. What is what so is Kamora Lee so Simmons doing the, that benefit Russell? Nothing. So what is but, Lawrence so, but, but, doing? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Devil advocate, got me on the roll. That will have a kid. I know. Okay. All right. So I get it. The wife she takes half, whatever. She won't be part of the business no more. X Y Z. But don't I still get to leave the business the business to my kids? You do. Okay. If it survives. If it survives. I so I said my own self. My ex wife my ex wife could have wrecked it. She she took my kids. I'm not I'm not throwing no stones. We're not but she got my kids. She got custody of the kids. So I'm not you're not raising your kids in a divorce if your kids live somewhere away from you. That's true. So what legacy are you building? Those aren't um, those Well in well, in that case, right, that makes sense. Now if for example, we keep using Jeff Benzo and Bill Gates. Their kids Maybe. are now adults now, so they these kids should already be part of the business. Maybe. Well, I'm um, hopefully they are right. Well, but I get what you're saying. But their young generation, then good luck with leaving the business to them because, like Seth Darchard just said, once you become divorced, you no longer have that daily interaction with your kids, or having that daily knowledge functions, whatever it may be. So therefore, you're not gonna be so willing to give the business fully to them if you haven't been able to groom them just like you to handle the business if you retire or pass away. So that makes let me, sense. Let me give me, let me give you uh in my own opinion. This is the marriage this is the marriage trap. But it, it's the it's the legacy portion. We we should have a whole show about what does legacy mean, right? Yes. Um but I'm I'm gonna throw a, I'm gonna throw an anecdotal story about some people that I know. This isn't okay. my life, this is somebody I know. Um okay. So the, the the guy and the girl married, I mean, living together, not married, living together. Two kids, right? Okay. He is paying all the bills. Well, he's paying a good chunk of the bills, not all the bills. She does work. They're making it work in a house. Nice house, too. Um, Man, woman, two daughters, right? Okay. They break up. He goes, he gets his, he gets his own place to live, right? She stays in the house with the daughter, two daughters. I'm sorry. Now she has multiple men. She's working multiple jobs. Uh huh. And she she's working. Okay, sorry. Okay, so she's got multiple men. She's working multiple jobs, and she now has a roommate living in the house that she and her man were previously capable of taking care of by themselves. Mm-hmm. Right. So it took. It took another job, multiple men, and a whole nother renter to equate to that one dude who has now moved on to his own thing. Mm. But but the kids, the kids are now looking at this chaotic situation, right? Very chaotic. So you were trying to raise your kids in a stable, loving environment. Yes. You got moved out in that environment. Now them kids live in an unstable, chaotic, potentially dangerous because... I don't want to be the one to say men touch women and all. I mean, men touch kids and all this. But there is another grown man around your children on a regular basis. And the fact that mommy is now dating, there are multiple grown men that aren't you and that haven't been vetted by you around your kids. So even if they that's, don't. That's important right there, ladies and gentlemen. So even if nothing happens, which I swear to God, I hope nothing happens. Yes. Even if nothing ever happens, what mental messages lessons have been imparted to your children these are your legacy we were talking about though right but that's not a lesson you wanted your legacy to have and that's that's the problem so when i so when we when we talk about this the marriage trap if you get if you've gotten married within the last 10 years you're you're an idiot if you stay married at it if you trust a woman to have your back, you're an idiot. Not because they can't be trusted, but 70, 80 percent of people filing for divorces happen to happen to be of a specific gender. This ain't a 50 50 thing. This is it could happen to anyone. They are doing it to us. 
And when they leave, they get cash and prizes, half of this man 401k. You get cash and prizes to leave. I bet you half of what I own that you will stay. You bet me you bet me half of what what I own that you wouldn't. That's a win win for you and a lose lose for me. And it's too many people cashing in. This is the marriage trap. Until the laws change, and I think we should go ahead and wrap it up, really. But until the laws change, it, it's in most men's best interest. If you down on your luck right now, if you don't got laid off from your job, if you unemployed between jobs, if you underemployed, it's your best interest right now to knock the girl up, have a baby, because you're going to pay child support anyway, but you might not want to be making money when you pay child support, and then break up with her. Save yourself the time and trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds wrong, ladies and gentlemen. It, is. it it does sound wrong, but don't it's it's very logical and very smart. Yeah, don't don't this work yourself. This is the rat race up. that we're in, so it makes sense. I, 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 I the old me would have been like, no, nah, don't do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. used to you, you used to race used to race to the top. Yeah. Now it's in your best interest to run to the bottom. It's the most it's the most ridiculous thing I ever seen. The marriage trap is build a better mouse trap. If you want to be a man, you got to be you got to be a loser to win, because winners take L's. Ty, you want to be Tyrese crying on TV? Mm. <laughs> and salute to Tyrese, but 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 he has a point though. Like at the end of the day, you know, um, he's going through a nasty divorce, whatever, and it's all about money. It's not really about the kids or anything mm-hmm. else. It's really about money, mm-hmm. greed. Mm-hmm. But um, but but also what it does to his image as a whole. Is that we have a strong well, well, we have a black man that we thought was strong, and 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 we see him. Well, we weak. talking about Tyrese, yeah? Because no, he was never strong. I mean, this dude don't cry like ninety six times. I'm saying, times. like, <laughs> but regardless, even when even once the ink is dry and he's back to being Tyrese, the actor, singer, X Y Z, the memes and him always crying online will forever be there. You know what I'm saying? Not saying ain't nothing wrong from crying. I get it. We men, men have emotion too. But once again, once something is online, it's for, it's always forever there. There's no way to erase it. So when Tyrese, kids, kids, kids have kids, they can see uncle or great, 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 great Tyrese still crying. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Just like the whole Ray J and, Car- and Kim. That video is still there, and they're making a million dollars off it, but it's still mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. But I'll get off that high horse for the moment. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Seth, anything you want to say? I know. Nah, we can wrap it up once again. It, it, I'm sorry to say marriage turned into a trap. It's definitely turned it's, into a trap. Um, winning Larson, is Pimpin, Jordan, that's a, a thing. And I'm I'm hopefully hoping and praying that Mr. Marcus Jordan decide that, you know what, this might not be a good move to be in with, with this lady, you know. She might be doing good tricks for you, but there's someone out there who's younger, fresher, no kids that you can build a life with if you want to go I, that I got route. one more thing to say, then I'm going to wrap go it up. Go I swear go to God, just one more thing. Imagine this, Larsa Pippen kicking it with Mike Marcus Jordan, Scottie Pippen's teammate who don't like each other. So she's kicking it with him. That means the man that you don't like, not that Michael's around a whole bunch, is now around your children perhaps more than you are. And <laughs> imagine if Miss Larsa Pimp- Pimpin' Jordan gets married or even not get married but has, has a, a baby, baby has a baby with Marcus Jordan bruh she it's so different regardless of the marriage trial, we see that's listen, disrespectful. I see them all the way I, I see them all the way that's that's disrespectful I, I see the money pit about to happen I see her setting them up and everything so yep. if and you fall for it I'm not gonna be shocked and if you and if I hear that Miss Larson Pippen is uh, pregnant by Marcus Jordan, I'm like, well, that's what he get. Mm, he, I, that's what he get. I can't, I can't. I'm not going to be feel bad for dudes. No, nah, that's what he get. He, and, and he knew would, better. And if she would do it to Scotty, come on she now, would do it to, to you. you. On that note, we're going to leave it off right there. Yes, Thanks sir. Thanks for tuning in. We're back next week, Sunday, live recording, 3 p.m. ish. The Chat Team live on all platforms on Mondays. Uh, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, all of them. Okay, yes, tune in, tap in. We out. Peace. Peace.